hey guys how you doing tonight i'm gonna be making lamb chops now i never seen lamb chop cut this way i hope this is lamb chops the meat um guy told me it was so this is it and i'm gonna be seasoning it as well so for my liquid seasoning i'll be using maggie jugo i don't know how to pronounce that worcestershire sauce right here then i'll be using bad <laughs> Um, sour orange and lime with well, lemon juice then for the powder seasoning for the lamb chops I'll be using all-purpose seasoning onion powder garlic powder cayenne pepper and garlic powder this is my first time actually doing um, lamb chops so this is just the liquid seasoning that's on the lamb chops so this is it with the liquid and the powder seasoning. I'm just gonna put a little bit more um, of brown sugar, just because it has too much of a citrus taste. Um, I'm since I don't know how it will dissolve in the meat and how the meat will grasp um, the flavors. I'm just gonna put a little bit more brown sugar. So I'm going to put brown sugar. I didn't put yet in it, so it could take away from the vinegary centrist taste but this is how it looks like guys this is how it looks like um i'm i'm gonna let it marinate i'm gonna put a cover over it then i'm gonna wash the skillet that i'm gonna be cooking it in so i'll let you guys know how it turns out hopefully it tastes good so right now i'm searing it in avocado oil Again, I'm not sure how this works. I do have time. I think I want to put some thyme in it. I'm going to put some right now. So I put some thyme leaves in the avocado, avocado oil with the lamb chops. I'm going to turn it over. I can see the other side. So guys, I realized the lamb chop just absorbed all that oil that I had put in the skillet. So I'm going to add a little bit of water into the skillet now. So I put water in it and for some reason it absorbed all the water so I'm going to put more water. I think I have to put this amount and it absorbed all the water. Oh my goodness. When you don't know how to do something and you're learning as you go. Alright, this is it. That's how it looks like but it's been absorbing the water still so i don't know i'm really new at this but this is how it looks after like a minute and then it's gonna absorb the the water this is weird so guys this is how it looks like this is my kids plate this is the first time doing lamb chops guys it doesn't taste like pork chop it actually tastes like beer I don't know, but this is it. This is how it looks like. And how, how does it taste, Dion? It tastes good. It tastes like $500 food. <laughs> I'm done. It's so kind. So, um, this is the result of the lamb chops. That, this is the last piece that was done. Um, I end up putting, I end up putting this for some reason. It helped um, speed up the process process of the meat not being so tough. It wasn't like um, it wasn't chewy, but what was still chewy it was the fat. So next time when I do get um, pounds of lamb chops, um, I'm gonna have them to make it lean because it was very fatty, and the fatty part was very chewy, which. I find it weird because usually when you eat fat from a meat, it's like very, like, it's hard, it's easy to chew, but this one was hard to chew, but the meat part was very, like, good, like, it was soft, it wasn't tough at all, but this is it, I had put some rosemary, and then the only thing I add after I got off the video was the salsa water, sparkling water, and my kids said they liked it, I kind of liked it a little bit it reminded me of deer meat 
So I know it wasn't pork chops, but the way they cut it, it seemed like it was pork chops. But this is the skillet. The skillet is filthy looking, but um, I will wash it. I have to let it soak. I am exhausted. But this is it.